So the treatment of lung cancer has developed tremendously in my working lifetime from uh, palliative chemotherapy alone as really the only option for those with advanced disease. First of all, extending to the panoply of molecular targeted therapies which we've now become quite used to and still are being gradually added to. Uh, and of course, most recently over the last three or four years, a tidal wave of new immune therapies. Checkpoint inhibitors in lung cancer are now uh, an integral part of what we deploy to treat our patients. So in my lung cancer uh, clinics nowadays, more than half of patients uh, are on immunotherapy of some sort at some uh, line in their therapy, either on trial or as standard of care. So it really is revolutionizing uh, what, what we can offer patients and the, the outcomes that they can expect. That having been said, we're learning on the job how best to use these drugs. Uh, so as, as, as we've learned with the molecular targeted therapies, uh, really, the devil is in the detail. Selecting patients according to the right biomarkers makes all the difference when it comes to predicting outcome uh, and making best use of drugs and, uh, most importantly nowadays, making the most cost-effective use of drugs. So it's all about biomarkers and we've heard a lot more about that at this ESMO uh, in the immunotherapy space. Uh, for the time being, we've been working with PDL one as, as the right biomarker I should say the, the best biomarker for many immunotherapies. Um, for example, pembrolizumab and nivolumab in, in many indications. We, we now routinely test for PDL1 one in the, uh, right up front uh, at the time of diagnosis of non-small cell lung cancer. Uh, and for those drugs, that's pretty useful in patient selection, de depending you know, in details on, on, the, on the particular setting. On the other hand, for some other drugs, such as atezolizumab, um, uh, there is a case to be made that that may not be such an important biomarker. And anyway, even where we are using PDL1, it's not perfect. So we've been hoping that a, a number of other factors, for example, the mutational burden in cancers is something that we can use. Uh, and we've learned something more about that this weekend here in Munich.